Looks like it's working. Hello, everybody. Um, my name's Charlie. I work at Styra on the developer relations team and on the OPA project, Open Policy Agent project. Um, OPA's been graduated for quite some time now, since the beginning of 2021. So many of you here today will have heard of it already. Um, but for those of you who haven't, you've likely come up against uh, something that we call policy. So policy is any rule um, or enforcement that you want to enforce in your applications or in the platforms that you're, uh, that you're managing. So for example, in an application, it might be common to have a role where admins are only allowed uh, to do certain actions within that application. And or in a, a cluster, you, you might um, put controls on who can deploy into which namespaces or can deploy certain types of resources. So hopefully, these kinds of policies are uh, hopefully familiar to you. But policy is uh, you know, much broader than just what can happen in an application. Any one application in any one Kubernetes cluster, policy is everywhere. Policy is uh, the business rules that, that make organizations work. And the problem, the problem that this poses is that when policy is defined in many different systems and using often unstructured language or varying implementations in different, uh, where it's enforced in different places, uh, this, this creates, uh, creates challenges, inconsistencies, and, and insecurity. Uh, we can do better than that. And that's where Open Policy Agent comes in. So OPA gives you a consistent way to express your policy, um, to offload policy evaluation, and manage that policy's life cycle for any use case. So whether that's a app business application that you're working on or a platform that you're in charge of managing, you can integrate with OPA to define the policies, the policy rules that you need uh, to, in, to, in, to ensure are uh, withheld within that environment or within that application. You can offload that to OPA. Um, the language is designed especially to be useful and expressive for policy use cases. Uh, I'll show a short example in one second. Um, but I think also what's often missed about OPA is the, the APIs that we offer for um, for reloading of policy without redeploying all your applications or redeploying your platform, as well as sending audit data about the policy decisions which it's made. Um, so yeah, uh, OPA helps you do policy, but as code. And hopefully, we're at KubeCon, people are familiar with infrastructure as code, uh, various other things as code. Hopefully, the benefits of the doing doing these things as code, uh, you're familiar with, but uh, just to give an example, like code allows you to do things like code review uh, and um, have versioned deployments of your policy or version deployments of your environments. Uh, you're hopefully familiar with these, with these benefits. So th when you think about your policy as code rather than policy as um, you know, things that are encoded elsewhere, um, that's the benefit. You get the same benefits for your policy. The big topic for OPA this year is that we're working towards OPA 1.0. The target release date for OPA 1.0 is the 2nd of December. Um, this is a milestone release for the project uh, and represents a consolidation of OPA's functionality for years to come. However, OPA will still have, uh, as all uh, previous, or as we've always worked hard to maintain uh, backwards compatibility, there will be a V0 compatible mode for OPA. The, there are a number of changes uh, that are coming in OPA 1.0, uh, but the most important change is uh, an update to the Rego syntax, which is already available today. Uh, if you import rego.v1 in your policy files, uh, you can access this new syntax and try it out. In fact, I, I recommend that you do. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, this is a simple rule which allows, uh, which allows requests when the role is, is an admin. We've got some great tools as well. Um, I think I've got a little bit more time, so I was quickly going to list them off just now. I've got one minute. Um, these are the steps we recommend for updating an, an older Rego code base, perhaps a code base which hasn't been touched for some time. 
um, running open check, open check strict. Uh, these are ways to find things that are deprecated or no longer supported. OPA format write will allow you to automate the reformatting of your policy code to OPA 1.0 um, compatible Rego. Um, we also recommend that you make use of the Regal linter, which is the linter for Rego that we've been working on recently. Um, if you scan this QR code, it will take you to a page with all the information about OPA at KubeCon. Uh, we've got a few talks in the schedule. There's one later today um, in uh, in the open tofu um, uh, co-located event. Um, so please do check that out if you're looking for things to do this afternoon. Um, I'll be presenting the maintainer track talk. That's on Thursday. Um, please do come along and ask questions. We're also going to be at the kiosk all week. Uh, we've got a full-time slot for the kiosks in the showcase. So um, I'll be there. So come say hi. Thanks.